For example, on these data, we could separate the data and achieve zero training error by using a cubic function, something like this. Then, thresholding at zero would produce positive and negative regions in the desired areas. In general, more artificially constructed features will yield a more complex decision boundary. But we're certainly not restricted to only use polynomial features. We can choose whatever kinds of features we'd like. In fact, let's consider a different class of features obtained by thresholding our original feature at different points. These nonlinear transforms can actually be just as useful as polynomials. Suppose again we have only one input feature x, and we create three new binary valued features by thresholding x at various points. So f1 is positive only in great, x is greater than some value. f2 is positive if x is greater than some other value. f3 is positive if x is greater than a third value, and so on. By creating a linear combination of these new features, such as f1 minus f2 plus f3, we can actually trace out exactly the same shape of classifier that we did with the cubic features from before. So here, f1 becomes positive. Then when f2 becomes positive, we go back down. Then when f3 becomes positive again, we go back up.